My name is Hannah Tolbert and I'm the Marketing Communications Manager at the Courtauld Gallery. My name is Rachel Sloan, I'm Assistant Curator from Works on Paper at the Courtauld Gallery. So the blog um, is really an opportunity for us to take um, our visitors and anyone who stumbles across it behind the scenes at the gallery. So it's an opportunity for us to show different aspects of life here. So we're a world famous gallery, but we're also a university for the study of history of art. We have a conservation department, a really active public programmes team. So we have Google Analytics um, in the blog, so we and we use that to look at um, page views, users, search, and um, kind of traffic sources. But also, it's really important for us to build a community and an audience around the blog. And so, one of the another way that we measure success is looking at engagement and kind of comments made. And that might be comments made on the blog itself, but also comments made about the blog on kind of our social media platforms. So people talking about posts on Facebook or commenting about it on Twitter as well. It's a multi-voice blog and I'm the central administrator and so um, when we're commissioning new people to write posts to the blog we've put together a set of contributor guidelines and that really um, I think helps people when they're kind of sitting down to write their piece. And then after that all the content comes to me so that when um, I upload it to the site we make sure that it all kind of has the same style, layout, kind of font and format. If there is a typical visitor who, who, who comes to the, to, to the gallery, it's generally some, someone older, someone who lives in London. And we were looking to reach um, not only um, younger, younger people, and people in their 20s and 30s, who have indeed proved to be the, the, the majority of the audience for the blog, but also, also to extend the, the reach of the gallery beyond London, even beyond the United Kingdom. And it has done that. I think one of the really interesting things that's happened with the blog is that we've kind of managed to stumble across audiences that we didn't even really know existed. So one of our really successful posts um, was written by our paper cons conservator and she wrote a um, uh, how-to guide of how to float mount a drawing and that has been consistently one of the most popular posts on the blog for kind of almost a year now. Having a blog like this takes a really significant amount of time, but I think the most important thing is when you're setting up at the beginning, one of the things that we did was we created a kind of a roadmap, so kind of editorial content plan. I think you need to have a pretty good idea of where you're going. Just have, like, I mean, have, have a, um, a plan at least, for, at least for the first several months. And one of the really key things we did um, was think about regular content we could have, so kind of a list of monthly features where if it's a bit of a quiet time we could um, do a feature on one of the paintings in the collection or a Q&A with someone. Be really clear from the outset about what you're trying to achieve with it. When you're creating kind of content, think about content that will last longer than just the kind of the one week that is relevant. One uh, running feature is we have a like masterpiece of the month, so that's something that's very much in the galleries. But really, drawing people to to look more closely at something in the gallery. If you want to start a blog, you should kind of get stuck in. So read other people's blogs, read other. So I spend a lot of time kind of reading other arts, museums, gallery blogs for inspiration, getting ideas, and getting involved in them. So commenting on them, linking back to your blog. <laughs>